Hello, happy Monday. Hello, surprise. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? How's the Monday going? Uh, I hope uh, people's spirits are getting lifted uh, because wow, it's been it's been crazy, right? Molo uh, molo, hello. It's been it's been just insane. I hope that. Um, somehow you're finding something you know to to just keep keep the spirits lifted um but you know i i uh, i've been chatting to to quite a few people you know uh, expectedly so i guess because we are we are all um really having a rough time um you know it, if if you're not losing loved ones um you know people who are losing loved ones the the the, the impact is just really really hard um, all around but you know the, the 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 one thing is that i and and i was thinking about this right i said you know we mustn't force ourselves to feel better um we must actually allow ourselves the space to 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 feel what we need to feel um, so I'm that person that, that, that allows myself to, to feel sad when I'm feeling sad um, and allow myself to process the emotions. I guess, um, you know, the, the, the difference is that some people do tend to stay there for very long. Um, and I'm, I, I'm one of those who, who doesn't, you know. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, 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 um, I get to feel what I need to feel, but then I... I realized that you know what I I also have to um, then get up and, and keep pushing on you know um, so so yeah hello <laughs> we need one big zoom uh, virtual and cry out uh, um, virtual cry out session as a count as a country I nearly said as a country because somebody just texted that to me <laughs> yeah I also think so. Um, you know, oh, that's great, Cornelia. Cornelia says, I, I love you, thank you. We're trying, it's not easy, true. I spend the day in bed on Saturday and Sunday and I feel so much better today, strong. And, and I think that that is, that is really what we need to do. Um, we need to do what we need to do, you know, and, and it's no use, um, you know, not dealing with our emotions because that's a, you know, this, this, this trending word or, or trending phrase of, a toxic positivity, which, by the way, nah, I, I, I don't like. Yo, there's a new phrase every day. <laughs> but you know what I've always said about this, and and I've done it in one of my lives, and also um, one of of uh, I think one of the sessions I've done on on YouTube. Feel what you need to feel. You know, don't try and camouflage it, um, and and take the time you need. To, to 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 you know to grieve to weep to to be angry to go through whatever emotions you need to go through um you know it's none of us are spared from the pain um but you know i guess it becomes toxic when you're not dealing or accepting that you're in a you are you are you are you are, you're actually feeling that way and and you know i mean the the I hope I hope some of you got to watch the the mental health session I did on 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 um, last Saturday that I did with the two ladies Clem and and Lungile um, and you know our mental well being is, is is everything and you know if you if you if you keep skimping or keep skipping the processes that you need to go through um, to grieve and you know I think there's a collective sense of grief. And the collective sense of grief is um, not just in the set fact that we've lost or we've personally lost or our friends have lost. It's just globally, um, as, a, as a humanity, we, we have lost. And to, to some degree, it's such a, it's such, a, um, it's such an, an, an awakening in a way, because I think as human beings, we always think we, we are invincible. Um, we have conquered so many things before. And suddenly we've been faced with a with a with a situation or a scenario where all, all of our plans and all of our strategies are are not exactly um, yielding fast and effective results. Um, and what I mean by that is, 
us human beings are always we 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 are the smart species and English, uh, not that we know what other species exist outside of us but you know there's we always have a solution to a problem that's that's why we go to university to study we get there to you know or, or whatever tertiary level whatever studies you do post your your your, your high school years and etc even in high school our education system we we get baked in problem solving you know you see a problem solve it come up with a strategy to solve it in in corporate people who are not strategic enough aren't the most paid people aren't the best paid you know but if you are a strategist and oh so many people aspire to be strategists you know they're always trying to move from from an operational role into strategy because that's so prestigious um and the truth is that sorry i'm just trying to switch off my my uh, just give me a moment yeah the truth is that you know we we're not prepared for this one we were not never prepared for it and 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 it's a it's a it's a lot because you know i think we're being shown who's the boss and it's uh it's hard so so yeah i just i just hope that you know we we don't try to fix it all because there are things that we can worry about, we can be sad about, we can grieve about, we can mourn about, but we can't fix it all. Um, sometimes we just have to kind of like sit in the valley and receive what we need to receive. Um, it, it is sad that this one is coming with uh, some serious, um, uh, serious losses, you know. Um, but having said that, guys, no one is coming out of here alive. And please, a show of hands, those who are coming out of this thing alive. <laughs> so, you know, it's a... <laughs> and I'm that person that talks about death quite quite freely. And in fact, I, 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 I laugh about it because... There's, there's, you know, if you, there's, I once, I once heard, um, read something that showed, uh, you know, if, like, be like a dog, if you can't play with it, uh, pee on it and walk away. <laughs> if you can't play with it and you can't pee on it, oh wait, if you can't play with it, pee on it and walk away. <laughs> something like that. Because, wow, yo, but it's hectic. But, but the truth is that, you know, none of us are, are, are going to live forever. And um, even if you are going to live forever, you don't know <laughs> that you're the one that's going to live forever. So we all, we all uh, 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 you know, for, move from the premise that none of us are going to live forever. And with every loss, the, the question is, what about your life is going to be worth celebrating when you're gone? Um, and I'm not talking be on a public a public platform and do public things and be loud and shiny and no no no. I'm just saying you know what what would you like to be remembered um, by? And one thing is for sure, I don't think that you know people who who have passed on sit there and think their greatest achievement was was shrinking themselves or or worrying what people's opinions or us where or, or or talking themselves down or you know um or thinking that they're not worthy of 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 a great life so i don't i don't think that that is that is um that is you know the thinking process i do think that you know when when i carry on as though i'm not gonna see tomorrow so <laughs> i carry on as though the next minute is not gifted to me so Whatever I do in that moment, I'm doing it. I do it to the best of my ability, and and I I um I pour myself into everything I do. And as a result, if if God decided it was chai with me, I'm like, okay, don't like it, but all right, you know, my job is done. So, you know, I think we we have to awaken to that fact. We have to awaken to the fact that we are not coming out of this thing alive like as in not at all so if that is such a sure thing why do we then carry on as though 
it's never going to happen. As though we still have tomorrow. Um, and, and I think we, with, with every loss, that's, that's the lesson that I personally keep reminded, keep getting reminded of. Um, something I never forget, to be honest. Um, I've, I've said, you know, I think I've, I've, I've lived <laughs> beyond the years I thought I would. Um, that's, that's unfortunate, in, in, I mean, in, completely in relation to my, to, to my upbringing and my childhood. But, you know, I've lived such a long life. I mean, when I turned 43 years ago, I was like, yo, I'm so old. <laughs> but I love it. I love growing older because it's a gift. It's, um, and also it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity to watch my children grow, to be here for them for as long as I, as, for as long as God chooses that I should be here. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's one of those things that we have to face up to and be prepared for, you know, and, and, and you don't need, and, and you know, I've, I've spoken about estate planning a lot. You don't need to have mega bucks and mega millions of monies and, and, and a huge estate to, to, to have your affairs in order, you know. But especially when you have children or beneficiaries, um, you can't leave these things to chance, eh? Because they, they, they will live through this. They will live through probably, I mean, nobody knows, but we, let's assume that we go before they do, you know. So what is your legacy to them? And it doesn't have to be money, but, you know, I'll tell you one of the things I work for, I work hardest for the most, is um, my children to never forget my love, to never ever doubt their greatness, because I, as their mother, have constantly reminded them of that, to, to never forget what it feels like to have a loving mother, um, but above everything else, to never have to beg anyone for a plate of food to never ever have to beg anyone for their freedom and if it means i must work longer if it means i must hustle harder i'm gonna do it because i want them to have a different future i want not a single soul to be in charge of their destiny so if I've played my cards right as a parent, by the time I'm gone, my children would be okay. And when I say okay, they will miss me, all of those things. But when the grief starts to dissip dissipate, when all of that pain of losing me wears off, it's what are they left with? Um, and that's all the things that I've done my best to instill in them. And then also because they need food on their table, they need to live, you know, they need, they need opportunities, they need to, to they need to, they need to, to chase after their opportunities. Because, you know, if, if you've been where some of us have been, um, you don't want that for your children. And, and you know, there's, there's, there's so many of these things that, 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 that add complexity to society. I mean, the, the episode that we're airing on, on Wednesday on Vastly Sage on the YouTube channel, you know, this young man who experienced a brutal, brutal thing. Um, and, and, you know, his mom stayed in, a, in an abusive relationship and her fate ended the way it ended, impacting not just her taking her life, I mean, not just her life gone, but two children who get to experience that. That is, that is, um, it is such a sad thing to watch uh, people, you know, trap themselves into situations that they can't get out of because of their circumstances or whatever the reasons are. You know, there's, there's no judgment uh, of why people do things like that, but the reality of it is that it, they do do it. And, and it, 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 it's often such a, you know, the consequences are, are really dire. So, so yeah, those are the things I, I, I care about. Those are the things that matter to me. Um, and sometimes, you know, I, I, I also do, do come across as I don't care about other people or friends or things like that. The truth is I do, but when I'm gone, my friends will forget me after a week. You know, the, the, the people who, who, 
Hmm, okay, maybe not after a week because I'm quite special, okay? <laughs> well, the point I'm making is that it is my family that will suffer the most. It, the, the impact to them um, will be felt for, 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 for years, years to come. So, you know, I, I was watching that, that um, interview with, uh, that Oprah did, Oprah did with um, uh, Meghan and um, Prince Harry, our favorite prince. <laughs> he always feels like he's from Lesotho, that guy. <laughs> Every time I see, I look at Prince Harry, I'm like, this guy doesn't even belong in that country. <laughs> so he's in Lesotho playing in the mud. <laughs> anyway, so I was watching that, uh, uh, some of that interview. Um, and when he said, you know, when Oprah asked him, uh, since he was cut off, cut off and he wasn't getting money, how, how is he getting by? And he said he's getting by through money that was left for him by his mother. I was just like, you know, that's it, drops the mic kind of thing. Um, and that's what I, I want for my children. And, and that's what I've been working for, for my children. That's what I, I want to make sure. I want them to have, other, to have to deal with other problems in life. You know, and, and the truth is that financial freedom is, 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 is uh, the means of finances or money, cash, whatever, access, access to it, gives you, buys you freedom. To me, that's what it means, buys you freedom. It means you don't have to just tolerate things for the sake of tolerating them. Um, so it, it means that you, you, you get to you get to explore the world. You get to, you get to not be tied down to just one thing, and and you don't have a choice. You don't have, you know, this is all you can do. So, yeah, I didn't start off uh, having anything, but I, um, I one hundred percent fought for my freedom, and my freedom did. Yes, we you know we got the, the the political freedom, but that that's not that's not the freedom I'm talking about. You know, it's the it's the freedom to choose, um, and that's that's the that's the one thing that ability and 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 being able to have money does for you, is the freedom to choose. And I I just want to make sure that when I'm gone, in some shape or form. I have taken care of my family such that their freedom is never taken away from them. Because freedom is, 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 is uh, it comes at a price. And it's a price that you never want to underestimate. It's a price that you never want wasted. Um, so, so yeah, you know, um, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very resolute about what matters to me. And I am very, very stubborn when it comes to to what's right for me and what's right for my children. Um, I have lost friends who question my commitment to my children, who question my commitment to my family. Um, I'm not the person that just wants to keep being on the street, running around, doing God knows what. Like you're going around sniffing all these people's energies, and oh, some energies are bad. <laughs> I think I'm growing a little antisocial. <laughs> I'd rather just stay home. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, listen, I, I just think it's a, maybe it's just an age, and I've, I've grown into a certain age in my life, and a, a life stage is more like it, in fact, because I'd rather just, you know, keep to myself and my friends, I mean, and my family, and if I connect with great people along the way, wonderful. But it doesn't really change much um, of my life if I don't. Uh, so, so you know, I think um, <laughs> I know you end up you end up not feeling good, and you're thinking, what's wrong? Why is my spirit so down? Kanti, it's the people you keep, you know, picking up from. Yo. And you can't control what energies people bring, but you can control if you stick around it or not. Um, so, so I, I really do think that there's a, there's a, <laughs> it's true. 
<laughs> yeah, there, there is no time wasted when I'm at home with my family. There's no time wasted. It's, it's the most precious time. And remember, we only have a couple of years with these people and soon they'll be out, you know, and become these, these adults that you hope that they become. And they'll have their own lives. They're, they'll no longer have, you know, be hanging on your lap and wanting a hug, even if you're in the middle of a meeting. So, <laughs> so you know, you, you, but again, that, that's just my, my choice, that those are the prior, my priorities. I can pick up other things, you know, along the way. Um, friends come and go, but family is, is, is everything. And, and, and yeah, we, we want to give them the best of us, the best of, of, of what we have to offer. And, and it, it, took, it took a long time for me to, to, to realize that. And I can actually pin it down to about eight years ago, seven years ago, in fact, seven to eight years ago, when I, when I, when I, 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 I literally, you know, I, wo I, I, I woke up to, to what my priorities are and to what my, my um, and, and it gets, it, it gets even, even more clear and more defined. Um, and, and I get even more stubborn and more, I think sometimes I'm just like, <sighs> you know, when you're just like, <laughs> I think I can be a bit exhausting. <laughs> I have a, a very, <laughs> I have a very low, low tolerance level. Um, and don't worry, all those who haven't yet turned 40, they'll get to 40. <laughs> you just become this, this wonderful, comfortable, you know, like leather, you just grow into the skin and it's just so soft. I think the older you get, the more you become who you were always meant to become <laughs> because you no longer have an interest in just you know, pleasing for the sake of pleasing. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I'm the only one that just loves growing older. I, I really do. Um, and, and yeah, I, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want my, my, my prior years. There's no better time in my life than now. Uh, and I'm just enjoying it in every way. I, uh, and I, and I, and I, and I, I, I do everything to stay true to, to who I am and, and do what I want to do and, and care about the things that I care about. Um, and, and it's not, it's not a, you know, you get to a point where you realize that actually life is not a competition. It's not, it's not about who I'm seen with. It's not about how many people know what I have, or it's not about, you know, but it's, it, it, it's, it's not about all these things that in our younger years we, we probably worry more about. It's, it's more about um, being present in the moment and, and being present in the moments that matter because there are plenty of moments and they don't matter at all. <laughs> it's like, yo, what on earth is going on? Yeah. So it's just being in, in, in uh, present in those moments that really matter. And, and what comes with age is the fact that you recognize those moments and you recognize them for what they are. And, and, and it's beautiful because in your younger years, yes, you, you're hustling, you know, you're trying to buy your first house, your first car, having babies. You know, there's like just too much, too much happening. And then you just get to a life stage at some point where you're just like, actually, okay, Ooh, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Uh, what you worried about before no longer matters. Um, or you know what, you've actually managed to figure out how to deal with the things that worried you before. And it's just, it's just such an amazing feeling. It, it really is. Um, and, and yeah. You've said it, uh, staying in your lane is the most liberating experience. It really is. And, and I, can't, I can't actually emphasize that enough because in your lane, you choose the energy. You choose who you spend your time with. You choose how you use your energy. You choose what it is that matters to you. What is your definition of success? 
what are your priorities and all of those things have got nothing to do with the next person they've got everything to do with you and what you believe is important um, and I, I just actually really love my family like I like them <laughs> a lot <laughs> I, think, I think they're so funny and I, it, it's possible that I didn't really have a childhood um, and, and a, a childhood like this so I get to actually be it I get I'm, I have such a, an interesting vantage point because I get to be a child with them whilst I'm an adult looking and watching a wonderful childhood it just gives me this perspective in life that is not one dimensional. Um, as a result, one moment you'll see me, I'm dancing like crazy, the next I'm killing it in the boardroom and I'm, you know, doing things because I can. <laughs> you know, I, I can. <laughs> and I want to. So, you know, I do it. So I, I just hope that, you know, I, I popped in to, to, to firstly say, I hope that you you are you are finding some way of of allowing yourself the space to feel whatever it is that you are feeling, um, and and you know and, and and then you 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 allow yourself the moment to rise out of that uh, uh, space because remember seasons do change. Eventually, the season will pass. Yes, yeah, some seasons last a bit longer than than you would like them to. But you know, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a season nonetheless, um, and and it is in in those times when when you're in that valley, you know, when you're sitting in that in that in that darkness, that I really think you get to to really conversate with God, whatever your belief is, by the way, whatever whoever your God is, but you just get to have some time when you know there's no noise, and it's just. It's just you wanting to to lean in closer to what it is that you're supposed to be doing. So, so um, yes, I'll save the life. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't mean to go on for so long. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in and say hello and wish you guys um, all the best and 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 wish that you know um, you know that for as long as you're breathing, your life hasn't ended yet. So. You have to just keep going and and be very clear about what it is that you would like to 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 be known for when you're gone um, and what is your purpose and remember purpose isn't this this big wild thing that is on steroids and is very clear all the time you just have to grow into what it is and I do think that you know people think that no, your purpose is only when you're doing things for others and you're doing big things. I, I don't, I don't believe so. And and sometimes you you are the purpose in that moment. You know, sometimes you are the project. You are the pur purpose. You are the the driving force behind whatever your vision is. Sometimes your purpose is changing a generational cycle. Um, Maybe your purpose is is showing others that you know it it can be done, whatever that is, you know. Um, and and it's it's not a, you know, it's not you don't wake up and poof, you know, you got your purpose. Purpose is not an event, but it's 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 um, you deliberately seek out the things that that move your soul, and the things that you really truly believe that you were born for. And, and you are on this earth for. And that's how I define my purpose, is when, when it feels like this is what I was meant to do, this is what I'm here for, you know? Um, and, and those things could be in your, in your working environment, it could be in your, in your, in your home, it could, be, it could be whatever you believe it is, it could be in your church, it could be in your community. Um, the point is that you must find it and and you must you must um define what it is because only you can live your purpose and people can tell you hey man you were born to do this and you're like no i don't think so <laughs> and because you're good at something that doesn't mean it's your purpose you you have to find what is that thing that really gives you the sense of 
this is why I am here. This is what my life is about. And, and, and it's a very personal thing. So, so I hope that you spend the time, even when you are in, your, in, your, um, in, in a dark and gray season. In fact, I think in a dark and gray season is where you start to cultivate um, these thoughts around what your purpose is. Um, and, and it's when, you know, it's when we, we awaken to, to the fact that actually tomorrow is not promised. Um, so let me do it now. And, and I always say, you know, and I said it even earlier, for me, it's about what will my legacy be? And my children are at the top of my list and the people I get to impact in my ecosystem are right up there. And, and even that changes because one moment you could be in my purpose line and then the next you're out of it, you know, for whatever reason, somebody else is. And I think we do like to hang on to things for too long. Um, and even when things have died and, and friendships or relationships have, have no longer hold that, that, that special place in our heart, we still want to hang on to them because no, you know, you must hang on, you know. No, when it's gone, it's gone. Move on. There's plenty more <laughs> along the way. <laughs> but you only have one family. Um, and, and even work, you know, we mustn't, we mustn't, uh, listen, I do a lot. I have many, many things that I do, but I have mastered the art of doing them. I have mastered the art of of integrating all of the things that I do to support my life. Um, so for for me, I I don't I don't you know my life is not just about work. Uh, no work is there to enable my life. The things that I like to do, like vacation, like chill at home, do nothing, like you know some charity stuff. Some, and I enjoy my work, you know, I enjoy it. I sit on boards because intellectually I get stimulated and I get to deal at a level that is so much higher than I do, you know, in terms of my own business, which is, which is you know, it, it's not a listed company, but the, the level of interaction is so much different. So, so I'm, I, I constantly, I'm, I'm quite strategic in how I do things, but it's this, it's this beautiful, chaotic mess that is highly coordinated. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, it, it's... <laughs> All right, let me read some of your comments. Um, and <laughs> oh, the, the, somebody said the problem is letting go. They're letting go of everyone now that it's cold. I, I don't know if it's cold as in the temperature <laughs> because we're already in August, so it's getting warmer again. I don't know what you mean, um, but but yeah, I th I think that you know again around around how you go about your things. Um, you know, I think people are so obsessed with structure and. And I do, to some, to a large degree, I mean, some people whose personalities are like that, but to a large degree, I think that our schooling system uh, uh, forces too much structure into everything. And yeah, schools have kind of evolved since then, but me, I came from, you know, <laughs> that Bantu education. <laughs> But I, I think the, the, the one of the things a lot of people struggle when they work with me is that I, I literally am like this, literally, and I don't have a plan for anything. I'm just like, okay, these are my thoughts. This is where we're going. I think we should do this. And you're like, let's go. And decisions are made so quickly. Like, and I'm like, ah, if it doesn't work out, it's fine. We'll fix it as we go, you know? And, and in that way, I find that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not confining myself to a space where I take forever to make decisions. I must consult multiple times. I must have a plan that is so precise and signed off that you can see, guys, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur through and through. So for me, it's agility. Everywhere you go, agile, be agile. But agility also means the ability to adapt 
the ability to adapt when things are rough you adapt when things have changed you adapt i mean i had a i had a a, a really nice lunch uh, today with mbumi lidwaba my sweetheart i can't say no to her so <laughs> because i'm still kind of on level five okay um but <laughs> I, I said okay fine you know let's hang out and i was saying that you know that's the difference it, it, in in way in the times that we live in especially as an entrepreneur if you're not adapting you are not going to make it so it's about how do you how do you adapt to change changing circumstances so if when now you have three year plans that are so concrete and look what has happened now you're still hanging on to your three year plan but the world around you has significantly shifted so it's how do you how do you constantly adapt to that but my my ability to adapt is not just in in the in the in the workplace it's 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 in my life you know it's a, every single day you're transitioning from from you know a, a certain way of working to now you're at home in the middle of a board meeting your 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 daughter who's 14 years old wants a hug so what do you do <laughs> so so you know as silly as that is but it's it's understanding that people around you need to know what's important to you so so it's but also it's it's understanding that what comes first for me are my children and i don't mind leaving things and rushing off to be with my family in fact i am that person that that even i cancel on things because I'm just like, yeah, actually, I'd rather just be home with my kids, um, you know. So I'm I'm blessed to 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 know what my priorities are, and I, and I must say that you know one of the things that I think people also struggle with is that they can't separate um, the things in their lives or the elements of their lives. So so I'll say this again because I'm sure I've said it, but if somebody hasn't heard me say it. I look at my at, at, at my at my life as these buckets. You know, my life is multiple buckets. In one bucket it's me, one bucket it's me and my husband, in another bucket it's me and my children, another bucket is me, my children and my husband, in another bucket it's me as a leader at work. Another bucket, it's me as a board member being led by somebody. In another, it's me being the chairperson of a board. In another, it's Amanda as a friend. You know, it, Amanda is a, as, a, as, a, as a supporter, a mentor, a sponsor, or, 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 or a, benef a, ben a benefactor. Um, so there's, there's so many things, um, so many elements in our lives. We often struggle as people to separate those elements um, and and you find that you know if, if you can't separate so compartmentalize if you cannot compartmentalize your life you know you you you, you struggle and you take one in you take your energy from one compartment to another you never you you always transferring energy all around it but what I find is that you know I can no, I didn't forget Amanda's bucket. I started with it. <laughs> it is the first bucket. There are no other buckets without Amanda's bucket. So, so, so it's it's um, it's the ability to realize that work could be stressful, but I'm not gonna take work stress to my family. It's understanding that maybe I'm irritating my husband or he's irritating me, uh, but I'm not gonna transfer that to my children. You know, it's, it's, it's all of these multiple different things. Um, and it's, it's understanding that I could be having a challenge in a, in a friendship situation, but that doesn't transfer to everything else I do. So that is one of the things I have got the most amazing ability to do, is to compartmentalize. And I think it, it, it also helps with, 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 you know, my mental strength. Um, and, you know, it's... it's um, it, it's about understanding that I, I am many things to many people, including myself. So if, if I'm going to keep think, taking all of these things and transferring, you know, you, you've had a bad day at work or you lost a deal you thought you got, which, by the way, is a, a daily occurrence for, <laughs> for entrepreneurs. 
then you come home, you kick the cat, you kick everyone, everyone, you're just miserable. And then, I mean, what did your family do to you to deserve that kind of energy, you know? So, so I'm always very clear that whatever I'm experiencing in one compartment cannot and should never be transferred to another compartment because then, it, it, then you just have constant drain in your life. Um, so when people ask me, you know, how, Amanda, how do you balance it all? How do you do, you know, you're always so joyful, you're happy. And like, it, it's because I know that if, even if things are bad there, it doesn't mean my, my it doesn't mean my, my life is not, my life is bad, you know, even if I'm struggling, let's say I have some struggle in business or, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm sad because we keep losing people. I'm sad because they're riots. So, I'll be sad for that thing in that compartment. And then when I come out of that compartment, um, I'm like, you know, as a result, people sometimes confuse my, 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 um, the way I handle things as I don't, I don't, uh, somebody said, I am so hard. I am, I come across hard. Does anything ever crush me? It was a question I got. Um, and I said, you know, I am not hard at all, in fact. I am one of the really not hard people I know. I am, I, ha I developed strength because I had to. It wasn't a choice. I, it was the only way to survive. And, but, but what that meant as well is that I have these like mental gymnastics I had to do at a very young age to enable myself to get over pain and to enable myself to actually, I think my, my kind of resilience is, 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 is on another level. Um, and and to, to some degree as well, I've had to, you know, not always move from a point of emotion. Um, and, and, and I don't mean that in, in any way that I don't have emotions. No, I, I just know when to use what emotions. Um, and, and yeah, so, so yeah, <laughs> I've said a lot. <laughs> uh, Clara says, does it hold true if circumstances are more positive? For instance, celebrate a work-related win with hubby. Of course, I'm not saying don't celebrate anything with you. I'm just saying don't transfer bad energy from one compartment to another. That's all I'm saying. You must understand that you must separate those. Celebrating a win with your family, I, I would expect that that's what you do, right? Because that's positive energy, that's great stuff. And also, even if you're struggling with something in your work, if you have a relationship where you can actually share those kinds of stresses, I have that with my husband. You know, I can share the, he can share his stresses, I share about my stresses. But the point is that, and I, I think the example I made is that, a clear example is, you can't take out your frustrations onto people that you care about or your family because you don't have the ability to 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 separate the two. Um, so so it's definitely not from coming from a, if it's positive, it's positive. But if it if it is if it's negative and it's impacting the people that you should be giving the best of yourself to, then it's something that you 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 have to um, uh, watch out for. So. <laughs> Leticia says, I have to go pick up the little one. You must go. Why are you not going? <laughs> That's a priority. See? <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> your child should be your priority, not Amanda on Instagram. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so. Um, oh, I see there's, there's a question in the question box. I wasn't actually here to take any questions, but I was just here to, you know, say hello and encourage you to, to just keep, keep going. Um, but allow your sp yourself the space to, to feel what you need to feel. Because positivity does become toxic in a way, in, in the phrase that gets used these days. It becomes toxic if you actually are just camouflaging your feelings. So... If you appreciate and know that you have tough days and then you have great days and the great the, the tough days should not, never take away from from the great days you know we, because you're having a bad season doesn't suddenly mean your whole life is bad and 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 i know that it is it is it is easier to 
to to to dwell in 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 the dark spaces um i i always say that you know it's it, it's okay to sit in those spaces because you need to but the minute you camp and stay there then then it's it, it becomes a really difficult uh, 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 conversation but again if you have um if you are constantly feeling down and in a dark place and you're struggling to get yourself out of it you need to seek help um, and you know, and, and I mentioned the the mental health session that I did with the psychologist and 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 the psychiatrist Clement Lungile. It is on, on on YouTube, so you can watch it. Just watch till the end as well, because in in there we also talk about some of the things that people can you know can see. In fact, even the talk show when I interviewed them, some of the warning signs that you need help. You know, um, and 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 they just say they are busy and booked because people need help. It is it is an unprecedented time where none of the strategies we have we have employed in in any employed in employed in any of our scenarios have have worked in this time. So we we are really we we got caught off guard as a humanity and. And and it's you 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 can argue all you want that the governments could have done better, the government could have done this that that, but but the truth is that no one could have been prepared for for this. No no one could have been prepared. And 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 I think what I want to say is that no one could have been prepared for the depth of the impact. Now people could have said, yeah, no viruses, pandemics, we knew something would come and it, but 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 the truth is that the depth of it, the depth and the impact and the suffering and the and the grief and the loss is 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 something else. So I I, I want to repeat that if, if you are constantly not feeling like getting out of bed, if you're constantly drawing the curtain the curtains and it's dark, if you're constantly um feeling like there's nothing left to live for. If you're questioning why you even need to live, please seek help. Um, it, it's a, some people have the ability to, to, to mentally get themselves out of a really tough uh, a situation, but some can't, they need help together. And there's no shame in asking for help. And if you're struggling, you must tell somebody, tell a friend, tell somebody, don't keep it to yourself because you know, where so many people who 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 struggle and 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 choose to 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 deal with it in a, in the harshest possible way, not just not just to themselves, but to those around them. You know, it's because people don't speak up and say, "I need help." Even if you don't know what kind of help you need, just talk to somebody and say, "I'm not okay." Um, and again, you can't force people to seek help. You know, people can can it, it's it's it, everyone owns. Their, their their mental health. Everyone owns their mental well-being. No one can help you with that. But the moment, moment you tell somebody that you need help, they can direct you to another one. But you must still be the one that does the work to get yourself out of that. Even when you're seeing a therapist, a therapist is not going to give you, a, the, there's no magic wand, you know. It's a, it's a process. And, and it's not for everyone. And, and I mean, I'm not going to preempt all of the things that were said on that session. I think you should just watch it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a tough time. It really is. Uh, even for the strongest mentally, it is tough. And allow yourself that space, but don't, don't camp there. Because remember, darkness also becomes comfortable. You get used to it. Um, I, I never, ever want to go back to a dark place. So I, I just... I just, you know, keep my faith and deal with what I need to deal with, acknowledge my feelings and my emotions. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you before I, I, I end the session, um, I never thought that I would be so impacted by the riots. These recent riots really, really, really impacted me in a way that I... I uh, I haven't felt in a long time because I'm able to actually bat off some of these, um, you know, some of these things. I, I'm able to not suck in, um, but but I, I can tell you, um, it it really got to me, and it got to me for for, I mean, and there's no need for explaining it to be honest. But I just think that there's a 
something something happened to me that was deeply painful deeply sad um for our country but it's not it's not it's not the merit of why it happened it's it's the fact that it happened and the fact that so many other people are going to forever be impacted by it for a very long time um and forever is a long time okay but you, you know you get what i mean <laughs> so so it was it was rather traumatic um and it it is the long term effect of it that we are yet to feel and we will feel um and and it's everybody's problem it's not you know it's not just a problem for the poor because everything else that has gone on means the ones who have you know, we'll have to pick up way more. So, you know, the, the, the way in, in inequality works is, is exactly that. It, and, and I mean, I'm not a medical aid specialist, but here's what I'll tell you. Those who are able to afford medical aid pay for the ones who can't afford it. So those who can afford to pay tax pay for the ones who cannot. Ultimately, the country to run needs money and that money has to come from somebody and so we can't say it's not our problem it is our problem every single one of us it's our problem i studied Karl marx in fact i think this was the first time in my life where i felt like i could go and do a master's that's meaningful to me around these riots i was like hey man Karl marx said this thing when i wasn't studying my undergrad you know <laughs> Like the masses will rise because they feel like the rich are getting rich at the back of their, you know, they on the they're standing on their backs getting rich, and you know when the masses rises, I know this. It was one of my favorite subjects at sociology. So, you know, um, it was the first time I was like, actually, if I had to do a masters. If I was crazy enough to decide that's what I want to do, it would be that because it is so relevant, um, and it would be it it's, uh, it moved me in a in a way that I didn't think um, I didn't expect. Um, I knew it would me move me, but I mean, it sh it shook me proper. Um, but even even that, you know, we 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 are still here. We're still we're still trying our best. You know, um, we're doing the best we can. Guys, ultimately, when we are gone, the people that will suffer the most are our family. And we need to be putting every single effort into making sure that our children do not suffer the things that we suffered when we were growing up. That our children don't have to beg anyone for a plate of food. That our children have the sense that with every single day that we put into them, to learn money lessons and money lessons i'm not talking about big monies here i'm just talking about mere example of you have your hands use them to do something you you have talent identify what that talent is use it you know we we grew up in 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 townships where i mean in rural areas and townships where mothers stand at the corner in the middle of town they sell potatoes popcorn whatever and those people fed their families they took children to universities just doing that but a lot of people are too important to do the hard work they're too important to be seen to be doing those things when i tell people i did stand at the corners of traffic lights dishing out pamphlets so that i could make some money you know, it's like, oh, nah, I would never. I'm like, yeah, well, I mean, look where you are. Look where I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying that, you know, if we constantly look to the government to solve solutions um, of, of societal solutions, I mean, societal problems, we're going to wait for a very long time. It's sad. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm very hopeful to hear, you know, what the government uh, had said they're going to start to do for, for the, the, the poor people of the country and how they would help businesses who had no insurance to rebuild. But what we ultimately need is, is real execution. Um, and execution that seeks to put the people at the center of what matters every single day. 
I don't, I don't like to talk politics. I don't like to get involved in things like that. But this was not a political event. The riots, um, and, and one of the reasons I left, I left corporate, which I've said before, is, is, is the fact that, you know, um, our country at the time when I left was burning because of service protests and graduates were sitting at home with no work. And it really bothered me so much that I, I wanted to do something about it. So, you know, we can only do the best we can in the spaces that we're in because it's not just a government problem. And I get it, I get it. They're corrupt as whatever. Even the ones you're like, oh, shame, you know, it looks like there's hope here. And then you're like, how oh, Baba. <laughs> and Johnny, now we're food. So the, the truth is that we're not going to get any solutions that are lasting from the government. So what are we doing as civil society? How can we change each other's lives where we can? To me, these are all the things that live up to that legacy. I keep talking about the reason why I uh, do what I do. Um, it's not it's not the obituaries that get written about us publicly that I will I would I'm, I'm looking forward to it's it's what people hold in their hearts is what I've been able to help them with that matters the most and I do millions of things that nobody knows about but the people I'm doing them for so so between that and my children may not I'm sorted I'm just like let's keep going Let's keep doing what we can do to change our society. And listen, we want a safe country to be able to do all these things in because without that, I, then we have nothing. But the point is that we will solve our own problems. Um, and, and it's gonna be a long time before we really see a government that cares for the people. Even if you think the party can change and there'll be another party that will do better. There's no such thing. Politicians are politicians. <laughs> They're politicians. They're all the same. <laughs> Once they're in office, they forget their promises. Okay. So anyway, now I'm, I'm going on a slippery slope. <laughs> it's always slippery when you start politics um but yeah i just say let's keep doing what we can um and show each other kindness you know honestly even in these in these platforms and this is, will be my closing point on these platforms you know where we feel like we know people or we we have the right to say whatever we want to say to people i just think we 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 can do better than that if you if you if you I always think that, you know, why would you write something that you would never say to someone in their face, you know? So you're hiding behind a keyboard and you, you're mean to people. It's just, it's just not okay. I mean, th some of us can bet off that off and we clap hard and block you and your dog and your grandmother. And <laughs> I love that block function, by the way, on Instagram, where if you block one account, it says it will block every other account that that person will ever create. But it doesn't help with these spammers, honestly. The Forex spammers are incessant. They're like ants. But <laughs> I shall keep blocking. But now I just block for fun since I'm verified, baby. <laughs> So so yeah, I think uh, listen, let's let's just show um, kindness and I just think that if some if, if 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 someone has posted or said something you don't agree with or like, just it's okay not to say anything. Just keep moving or unfollow them. You know, I tell you, so many people who are so heartbroken because somebody said something mean to them. Just like hey, guys, we're not in kindergarten. So let's just remember we are dealing with people. Um, the fact that people are on social media doesn't suddenly give you the right way not to say whatever you want because you think you can. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's still the same people. You know, it's, I mean, it's people. And, and I, I, I also say that even, even when you are 
I think I said that was my last point, but okay, okay let me carry on. Even, even, even when, you're, when you're driving, so imagine you're driving and you have a, a, a road rage incident because, I don't know, people just think that they're the only ones with right of way. So let's just assume you have a road uh, incident. Re road rage, what is it? Road rage, yeah. I always think, imagine you have a road rage incident and it turns out that's the person who's hiring you next or that's the person who's going to come looking for help from you and i'm like imagine the actions your actions can determine what your future becomes and i've had things like this happen so if you're going to be mean to people online what if that's your next partner what if that's your next you know, employer, what if, I don't know, that's your next church leader or, or something, you know, it's, it's a, it's our actions. We need to be so aware of what we're doing or saying to other people because they set it up. I had a boss who used to bully me when I was younger, uh, starting out my career. He was so mean, but he never said it in my face because clearly he was scared of me. <laughs> He'd go say it to, he'd actually go and say it to my clients who were quite close to me. I was a young project manager given huge responsibility at a bank to run a, a national program. And my client was very happy and somehow my boss was just not happy with that. And so he'd go and, and, and say bad things about me to my client. And my client would come to me and say, what is going on with your boss? I'm like, what do you mean? And he'd say, tell me some of these horrific things he would say uh, and trying to, de de uh, uh, to be very demeaning. Um, and, and, you know, there was, there, and I, I would just be like, first of all, I'm 23. You are like 45. What's your problem? <laughs> You know, that's where you realize you keep taking on people's problems that have nothing to do with you. People have issues, okay? Half the time they make it seem like it's your problem. It's not your problem. They have the issue. They're the ones with issues. Anyway, that guy, that was my, my first boss um, in a big corporate. That guy, his CV came across my desk twice since... I worked with him and the last time it came across my table was some seven eight years ago in fact it came across that time again this time I didn't even look at it and at some point I was like actually I want him to come because he doesn't know who's the hiring person doesn't know who's the hiring manager guys hiring manager has power <laughs> hiring manager is everything they hold the power in the cost center <laughs> so I wanted a, a, a part of me wanted to invite him for an interview and then tell him that eh, it's not happening but I'm not a mean person so I just rejected it and then I told them let him know that Amanda Dambuza <laughs> has rejected it <laughs> Because I am not Jesus. I'm not going to let some opportunities slide. <laughs> you don't clap me on the one hand. I want chicken, think I'll turn the other one. No, ain't happening. I'm only human. All right, guys. <laughs> I hope I have somehow. Um, I think I said a lot, actually. <laughs> can't even remember what I what I said um, but but ultimately you know karma karma is a real thing and how you treat people is a real thing um, and and you, you know we can't we can't keep thinking that only our feelings matter and other people's feelings don't matter it's it's unacceptable um, and how you treat people I really think is is the kind of energy that comes back you know and 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 that comes back in I think the more positive you, the more you treat people with respect and you're positive about their prospects, the more you, 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 the more you, your life just gets better.
I don't know, it just feels that way. Um, at least for me, it does. You know, so, <laughs> so let's be considered about how we treat people because really, honestly, it, it, it comes back um, one way or, 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 or the other. And because you are in a position of power today, doesn't mean you'll always be in that position. Things change so quickly in life and, and it matters, it matters, greatly it matters when you how you go to that position of power and what you do when you're in that position of power so if, if you think you have power therefore you must treat people badly i think anyone who tries who, who uses their power misuses their power and doesn't encourage and uplift others is is has serious problems because true leaders don't need to exert their power. True leaders use their power to change people's lives. They use their power to shift the landscape. They don't use it to oppress you or to remind you who's the boss. Those are people who are incredibly insecure. And if you're a person like that, if, if everyone around you must feel your power, everyone must shake because you've walked into the room, you really need to take a good look at yourself um, and see why you are like that. Why are you like that? Uh, where does that come from? And, and again, power today does not guarantee power tomorrow. So be wise how you <laughs> treat people. <laughs> but thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I just thought I'd just pop in and give some words of encouragement. Take them, leave them. I'm not prescribing any, anything to anyone. I'm just kind of like, you know, reflecting on some of the things that matter to me. Um, and, and, you know, sometimes I sit and think, I know, I know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave just now. Sometimes I think that <laughs> sometimes I think that you know um, Amanda you, you say all of these things you know I'm like, who, who elected you to be this person <laughs> and then I'm like God elected me yeah, that's the only thing that matters is God elected me. So, <laughs> so whatever I share on these platforms is based on my experiences. It is, it is, um, it is, it is based on, 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 on some tried, tested, and proven ways and things. But it's actually not a subscription. It's not a prescription. It's not a, you know. Um, did I say subscription? No, prescription. It's it's not a um, <laughs> it's it's not it's not do what I tell you. No, I'm just sharing. If you find it useful, take it. If you don't, okay, bye. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, that's okay. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I've learned a few things though in life. I'm a social sciences trained person, so that gives me some kind of you know. I'm a social scientist. I mean, I know society and people, you know. I studied. <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, I also trained to be a coach. UCT trained me to be a coach. So, actually... <laughs> Yeah, but it, it is my life's work. I also do this. Um, I do. I do a lot of what I do. What I share with you is actually some of the things I do in in my life as as a as a for a living, in my leadership development strategies company. This is some of the things I do. Um, and I'm starting. I'm getting into a very hectic period for me. So. I might not be easily available uh, because August is a hectic month on speaking and all of that. So, so yeah, <laughs> I hope you own yourself, you love yourself, embrace who you are, appreciate where you've come from, and just know that the moment you have is now and n n no other moment is guaranteed. So you 
take it and use it, you know. Um, I hope you take it and use it. And, and remember that, you know, I, I, um, I just remember no, no one will be impacted more by your passing or your departure more than your family. Um, so, so, so if maybe you can focus some of your priorities around around the things that matter. So what I did say in one of my, my posts is that I, I start with the end in mind. So how would I like to be remembered? And I've kind of told you already here how I would like to be remembered. And, and even that, I think it's a great tool to use to say, okay, I don't know where to start about my, what my purpose is, but here's how I would like to be remembered. And if you start thinking this is how I would like to be remembered, then you start to live your life according, according to what, how you would like to be remembered. So you start living your life doing the things that will enable how you would like to be remembered. You know, what your vision is for your life and how you then go about it is, 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 uh, is directed by how you would like to be remembered. And um, thank you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Just go and do you, 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 you all the way and enjoy what you do. Love who you choose to love and give to who you choose to give to. And if, there, if there's anything, I think, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> I think you'll be okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Take good care and uh, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Bye. I'll post it. Don't worry. The ones who came in late, I'll post it um, and you can watch it. Thanks very much. Take care.